Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rich Holcomb, Associate Vice President for Human Resources, and I want to welcome you here today to the Annual Service Award event. Um, today's event is really an opportunity to celebrate the tremendous success in your contributions at the University of Michigan. We just saw a really inspiring video kind of illustrating the history of the university and its growth over time. And many of you have been along to enjoy that journey as a university as we've grown and developed and you've all played key roles. I wanna welcome all of our attendees today to the service award event. Uh, we have service awardees, your guests, your partners, uh, and supervisors here today joining us. We're so happy that you're able to be here and join us for today's virtual celebration. Um, this opportunity really doing this virtually provides the chance to do this uh, with all campuses to bring us all together as one. Michigan Medicine and all of our campuses here to celebrate and have a good time today in celebrating the successes and your journey with us again at the university. I will be joined today uh, by Dee Hunt, who will be a co-host with me today. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Dee. Dee? Thank you, Rich. It's truly a pleasure to be here today as we celebrate you, our esteemed staff, for the many years of service that you have provided to the University of Michigan and Michigan Medicine. Thank you, Dee. As we kick off today's celebration today, President Slissel wanted to share a special message of gratitude, not only for the cumulative impact of your careers, but also for your resiliency during the past two years. Hello, I'm delighted to extend my gratitude to all of you today, and thank you for your exceptional service to the University of Michigan. The work of our staff, the work that each of you perform every single day, makes our university excellent. You keep our systems running, our labs humming, our public areas clean, and our campus grounds pristine. You keep our community safe, provide life-saving health care, and support the families of our patients. The work you do bolsters $1.6 billion in research productivity, spans 40 million square feet of buildings, and helps us deliver 5,000 babies a year. When the public seeks us out, you're often the first people they engage with, welcoming them as they begin their Michigan journeys as students, fans, donors, and patients. And you've risen to every challenge we've faced during a difficult time in our history. Michigan has been a top university for centuries, and the decades you've devoted to your professions have ensured that we always remain the home of the leaders and best. Michigan is your home. It's an honor to see you in action day in and day out. Again, thank you and go blue. It's always nice to hear from our leaders, our leadership. At the same time, it is party time. So let's get the fun started with a twist on tradition. Every year we have a special performance by the Michigan Acapella group, The Fires. And this year they have sent us a special video to share with you. Founded in 1955, they have been entertaining audience with questionable choreography, bad dad jokes, and countless James Taylor hits ever since. So sit back and enjoy. Way back in high school, I had a lady friend to break in up when we said no. So we both fly to Michigan. We both got a letter, hey, yeah. Mine was just a little better. I'll be wearing maize and blue and her a gray and scarlet sweater. Yeah, you my Buckeye girl. You my Buckeye girl. On your application, you must have done so well. Just by writing in your first name, you proved that he 
you could spell And you got into the honors college Because you were from out of state And you surpass Ohio in knowledge Because you can count to eight Yeah, you might go now One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Yes, you might girl Don't you know that we we have to break up. Oh, H-I-O-U, no, I know that you are dumb. Oh, H-I-O-U, no, I know that we are done. Bass solo. Your life could be so great Yeah, you could be a CEO But you'd still go to Ohio State And I never stoop that low When you graduate in your four, five, six years With your diploma or degree Hanging on your office wall Just know Know that your boss is me. Yeah, you yes. my Buckeye girl. You my Buckeye girl. Don't you know that we we have to break up? Oh, H-I-O, you know I know that you are dumb. Oh, H-I-O, you know I know that we are done. Oh, H-I-O, you know I know that you are dumb. Oh, H-I-O, you know I know that we are done. That we are done. Men of Michigan unto victory. Every man in every place. Ba -da 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 -da. Michigan expects her varsity to win today. Ra, 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 ra. Win for Michigan. Varsity down the field. Never yield, raise higher shield. March on to victory for Michigan. And the maize and blue of varsity. We're for you, here for you, to cheer for you. We have no fear for you, O Varsity. Now for cheer, they're here triumphant. Here they come with banners flying. In stalwart step they're nighing. With shouts of victory crying. We hurrah, hurrah. We greet you now, hail far we their praises sing for the glory and fame they have brought us. Loud let the bells them ring, for here they come with banners flying. Far we their praises tell for the glory and fame they have brought us. Loud let the bells them ring, for here they come with banners flying. Here they come, hurrah, bum, 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 bum. Hail to the victors valiant, hail to the conquering heroes, hail, hail to Michigan, the leaders and best. Let's go blue. Hail to the victors valiant, hail to the conquering heroes, hail, hail to Michigan, the champions of the West. Go blue! Wow, that's incredible. I hope you all enjoyed that. The Friars are part of the Men's Glee Club and always make me feel really proud of the university. Although we didn't hear any bad dad jokes, I always like when they tell those because it makes me feel a little bit better myself about telling the bad dad jokes. But now it's really on to all of you. Uh, 269 honorees today. Wow, thanks Rich, I like them too. As we celebrate you as a whole, we acknowledge each of you individually. As your names are being displayed in order of the years of service and in alphabetical order in the video that you see on screen. First, 30 year honorees, then our 40 year honorees, and then we're gonna celebrate 45 year honorees, 50 years honorees. 
And then finally, a special 55-year honoree. Wow. How special is that? That's incredible. 55 years, D. Amazing. Amazing contribution. As the video rolls, uh, we just want to thank you all and honor you for your career commitment to the university. Uh, whether you're working on the Ann Arbor campus, the Dearborn campus, or our Flint campus. And your services to Michigan Medicine. Uh, we have to thank you for yours and celebrate you for all you have done to make Blue go. And since we're doing this virtually and not together uh, for our annual service award, we have shipped you all special packages uh, with a gift card to enjoy a special meal uh, and a keepsake commemorating your service milestone to the university. That's really nice, Rich. Plus, we have more special videos planned featuring many members of the university community, including comments from one of tonight's honorees who has celebrated more than five decades of service to our organization. That sounds fantastic, Dee. I look forward to hearing those comments. It's uh, again, incredible to think uh, over five decades of work at the university. Uh, as Dee said earlier, the names you're now seeing on the screen are staff members who have reached 30 years in their career. And that's 175 people this year that we're honoring. As your names continue to display, please keep in mind that each and every person you see has had an impact on the university. And as you're looking for your name or the name of a loved one, keep in mind the list again is in alphabetical order. Yes, Rich, this is an opportunity to celebrate and all the years that they have given to our organization, they've made a, dis a difference. So this is also a good time to mention that this presentation is being recorded and will be available at the same YouTube link. You just might want to share this with your family and friends. Plus, there will be articles in the U university record as well as the Michigan Medicine headlines. Yes. When, when we prepared for this event, we invited all of you to share some career memories. So, several of you contributed comments or recorded comments, which we'll see a little bit later in the program. A few of you also agreed to join us for a live quick chat and talk a little bit about your experiences and your career working here at the university. And we'll be definitely uh, talking about uh, those here in just a few moments. As the names continue to scroll, again, I'll remind you they're alphabetical. Yes, and by years of service. And how many names did you say people are we honoring this year? 269, and but there's 175 here in the 30-year uh, category. So if you think back 30 years ago, Dee, uh, what do you think a uh, postage stamp cost 30 years ago? Boy, I have no clue. What do you think it might have been? <laughs> Maybe 20, 25, 30 cents? Who knows? 20, 25 cents. Wow. Yeah. And one more. What would be 30 years ago? What's the number one television show? Oh, that has to be 60 Minutes, and it's still on today, yeah. Running Strong's my Sunday evening uh, newscast. Yep, I just watched it this past Sunday myself, so it's yeah. incredible that that show has been able to sustain for so long. Great show. All right, well, I would like to now uh, invite a guest to uh, have a live chat with us, celebrating 30 years of service and joining us now is Jean Dalt, Administrative Specialist, the School of Dentistry, Office of Patient Services. Welcome, Jean. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Good. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So 30 years at the university. Um, when you think about that, what is one of your fondest memories of working at the university? I think that the welcome that I got when I first started here with our administrative team was just stupendous. It set us up to be a family and 
my fondest memories are spending time with these folks who were my mentors and my my leaders, the, the folks that I followed and, and took my clues from and made me believe that this would be a great place for me and a good fit for, for my skills. Great. Well, you mentioned family and that we're all one part of one big family here at the university. It's an incredible workplace and uh, 30 years is simply amazing. As you think about it, what advice would you give employees who are navigating their career here now at the university? You know, what has always put me in good stead is to be available, to prove my abilities, and to never let the words, that's not my job, cross my lips. In patient services at the dental school, as you can imagine, we touch patient lives, student lives, faculty lives. The answer that I generally give for anybody who's asking me a question that I don't know about is, not sure, let me check on that for you. And then to make my word good so that I do get back in a timely manner and hopefully help the person out to the best of my ability. That's incredible. Yeah, it's difficult to have all the answers to all the possible questions, right? Absolutely. But, you know, to follow up and check on that and get back with people, they so appreciate it. So I have a rich, a rich a library of folks and people to to go to every single day. And it's it's been wonderful. Wow. Well, that's incredible. Again, we just want to thank you for 30 years of service to the university. Uh, just an incredible milestone, and thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Well, now as we transition on uh, to the next uh, group, we're going to be celebrating individuals that have 40 years of service uh, at the university. And again, I just want to take a moment to congratulate the 175 people that achieved 30 years of service. So now with 40 years of service, it's time to acknowledge and thank the people who have given four decades of their life to the university, their time, their talents, and also want to give a special thanks to the families of these individuals for letting your spouse, your partner, your significant other, your family member, uh, be present at work and do the great things that the university does. We know it takes a lot of commitment and it takes time and it pulls away from family and other commitments that you may have. So again, thank you for sharing uh, your, your family member with us uh, to be a part of the university. Yes, yeah, Rich, we really appreciate all the, all the family members um, who've been standing right by their sides or guiding them or supporting them especially over these last um, two years. So now 40 years, our honorees are strolling on the screen now. So that's a lot of years, as Rich said, four decades. Just think about all the good that you have done and all the lives that you've touched. We just thank you for that. And now we wanna welcome another guest celebrating a milestone, Tony Denton our Chief Operating Officer at the University of Michigan Health and a very familiar face for most of us at Michigan Medicine. Tony, Hi, welcome. Dave. We're glad you're here with us today. I'm glad to be here. Tony, question for you. What is one of your fondest memories of working at the University of Michigan for 40 years? You know, it's hard to pin one down when you have 40 years of service, but I have a theme and it's been a being able to create uh, new programs and facilities over that time period, University Hospital, Cardiovascular Center, Children and Women's Hospital, Brighton Center for Specialty Care, um, East Ann Arbor Camp Medical Campus, Kellogg Eye Center, um, being able to create capacity to improve access to patient care all of that has just been really, really special to me. 
you've been involved in so many different areas of Michigan medicine. Um, and that's why we started off by saying that you're very familiar to many of us at Michigan Medicine. You've even helped us with service awards for many years, and we appreciate that. Thank you, Tony. It's always great to hear from you, and we appreciate you sharing a little bit of your career story with us today. Um, we know this isn't the end, and you have a lot more capacity to open up and a lot of more jobs to help us bring individuals to bring in to fill jobs as we expand in Michigan medicine. Any closing comments? Uh, first, thank you, Dee. Uh, this is really, really amazing. Um, my, my last comment is to those that are pursuing careers and maintaining, stay flexible. As you know, the last two years, we've all had to make adjustments and take advantage of every opportunity that's presented. Uh, no problem is one that we can't overcome because we are Michigan, go blue. Thank you. Well, thank you, Tony. Uh, simply incredible, 40 years of service. Uh, if you, uh, my, my question for you would have been, do we have another 40 years that we can have from you to all the great contributions you've made? Um, it's always great to hear from individuals and leaders in the organization and have them share a little bit about their experience. and. As Tony referenced, flexibility so key in everything that we do um, at work. Um, extremely challenging times, and flexibility is key. Um, you know, I think uh, when when I consider 40 years ago, I just thought you know maybe a couple of fun facts here about 40 years ago. The first computer mouse was unveiled 40 years ago. So think ah. about that and how prevalent that is in our world today with technology and what we use a mouse has just become a natural part of our our environment so rich what song were you thinking about when you were thinking maybe some eyes a song with the word eyes in it the title has eyes in it oh boy so 40 years ago well you know i i i'm a i i can think back about being a young adult in the 80s um that's the Miami Vice, Don Johnson era, right? Um, there must have been, let me think about the songs. Uh, of course, I think about the Miami Vice theme song. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I know, Eyes, uh, Betty Davis Eyes. Hey, you got it, you got it. A lot of great TV shows on that time. Um, but an important thing was women's athletic programs were officially admitted into the big team conference. That was a wow. great step for us. Wow, incredible. Then yeah. I I think also too, when I think about the university, um, I think our president at the time was Harold Shapiro at Michigan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We just gone way back. There we go. It's it's kind of fun to reminisce about that times. Yes. So congratulations again, and thank you to our 40 year honorees. Now it's time to recognize those who are celebrating 45 years of service. Wow, 45 years of service. We are so thankful for all of you. The institutional knowledge that you hold, the decades of coaching and mentoring and the lives that you've impacted, uh, just simply amazing, incredible. And to share his thoughts on 45 years of service at the university, we have a special guest with us today, Victor Caballero. Uh, Victor is an electrician in our facilities and electrical maintenance uh, area. Uh, I'd like to welcome Victor to the screen. Good afternoon, Victor. Hello, thank you for uh, welcoming me. Well, thank you for joining us today. 45 years, uh, just incredible to think of uh, the service and your contribution to the university. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, like we've asked other individuals that we've invited on screen, uh, what is one of your fondest memories of working at the University of Michigan? Well, I've got several, but uh, one particular one was uh, in 1997. Uh, Michigan was playing Ohio State at Michigan. Well, what happened was um, this particular time, us electricians weren't working the football games. 
because they had other uh, an outside contractor working on the games. So at this particular time, they changed the scoreboards. So they put new scoreboards in, and there was a problem. They didn't realize that those scoreboards took a lot of power. So now what they ended up doing is they ended up taking a genera- a portable generator and putting it on the northwest corner of the stadium. So they had a, a secondary electrician and a high-voltage electrician work, and that was me and another guy. And back then, you know, it was the old press box, if you remember what that looks like. So we had the, they wanted us to be in the press box during the game, but at different intervals, we had to go check the, check the substation, make sure that the power was good. There was no problems. And then make sure that if there was a problem, we would take care of the the power problem and we would get it up and running. So anyways, so I go out, check the generator and there was a one elevator that, that only went to the press box up there. And you had to go to, when you got there, there was a a public safety officer and he had to make sure you were able, you know, you couldn't just be anybody. You had to be, have the right access to get there. So I go do what I got to do. I go to the elevator. The public safety officer says, okay, we're just waiting for the elevator. The elevator opens up and it's Bo Schembechler and Mary Sue Coleman. And I go, just like this, I go, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll get the next one. <laughs> and Bo Sham Butler said, no, come on in here, young man. Come on in. And I was like, oh, he talked to me, to myself, I said. So I walked in the elevator. I turned around, and the elevator door shuts. He taps me on the shoulder, and he says, hey, I got a question for you, young man. And I'm like, oh, man, he's, he wants to talk to me. I said, well, yeah, what, what can I do for you? He says, why do you got that Charlotte and gray shirt on? <laughs> and I'm like, Scarlet and gray shirt on. And I'm like, I'm thinking. And I didn't realize who was playing. You know, just, you know, I wasn't thinking. And I says, Adidas sports shirt. He goes, okay, I'll let you get this one. Elevator opens up. I go into the scoreboard, you know, go into the press box, and I didn't. And then I realized it was Ohio State colors. Wow! But the fact that he talked to me, oh my good, and asked me a question and touched me because you can't, you don't want to talk to a, you don't want to question a celebrity, but when they question you, that makes it so much better. Wow. Well, pretty incredible. And, you know, it's uh, what, 20, 20 plus years later, and you still remember that very clearly. So it's, it's really a, a neat story, Victor. When you think about uh, 45 years here, I mean, what, what's kept you at the university for 45 years? You know, uh, one of the reasons why, you know, when I was 62, it was only, I was going to have 43 years no, uh, 40, yeah, 43 years. And I said, no one remembers 43. Now, 45, they'll remember. So my name will be somewhere in the University of Michigan record for forever, there 45 you. years. And you're a celebrity today. We get to interview you. So, yeah, 45 years. Well, today I'm a celebrity. Tomorrow, maybe not. <laughs> no, that's incredible. Any uh, parting words of wisdom you would have for anybody working at the university to have a successful career like you have had? Well, what I tell all the young guys, we get new people come in and I tell them, listen, get ready for a change every five to seven years. You might not like it, but you better learn to adjust to it. And you can. You can do it. Yeah. Well, good. Well, Victor, uh, on behalf of the university, thank you very much for your 45 years of service and appreciate what you've done. And I want to thank all of the 45 year service award employees. Um, Just again, an incredible milestone. You all should feel extremely proud of your accomplishments. Thank you, Victor. Well, you know, I want to thank all of them people that, you know, 
got these milestones. It's uh, it's pretty incredible. Yes, it is. Well, thank you. The um, you know, consistent with what we've done and done with uh, a couple of the others, uh, a couple of fun facts perhaps here before we move on to the next category. So. 40, 45 years ago was 1976. So um, how about the cost of a gallon of gas? Um, I would say it was probably in around 50 to 65 cents. What do you say? Yep. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, 59 cents is what it was in 1976. So about well, roughly, what, about $3 a gallon cheaper than what we, we pay today? Almost definitely. Parking for those days of 59 cent gas. Um, what about the most popular TV show? At that oh, time? that's easy. Happy Days. Happy Days. Yeah. People are ha thinking about those happy days when they joined us uh, all these years ago. But uh, let us progress. We're going to move forward into yep. the future. Exactly. Well, again, I want to congratulate and thank all of you that had your 45th uh, service award um, anniversary. And thank you again for your uh, dedication and commitment to the university. Now it's time to move on to those celebrating 50 years of service at the university. And we're going to refer to all of you as the golden four. The Golden Four. Yes, you're here and we're here and we're celebrating you on your golden work anniversary. A half a century of amazing contributions you have continued to make year after year after year. And we can't say enough about how amazing you are that you stuck with us. You brought us newbies into this wonderful university so thank you for all that you've done yeah that is just it's simply incredible half a century of service so so amazing um and i want to thank and congratulate those that are celebrating their 50th uh anniversary with the university so we have deborah erskine from lsa dean's office human resources elizabeth mustard university library Anna, or excuse me, Ann O'Curse from C.S. Mott Children's Hospital, and Aline Smith from the Office of Financial Aid. Congratulations to each of you, and thank you for 50 years of service to the University of Michigan. You are definitely those golden anniversaries for 2021. And as we mentioned earlier, Many of our honorees have shared comments and reflections on video. Let's listen to what more of your colleagues had to say about answering the call to be leaders and best. Why have I decided to spend 40 years here at the university? Um, well, I guess it's never been boring. <laughs> uh, even though I've been in the same, technically the same department, um, I've worked various areas. I don't think I've spent more than three years ever doing the same thing. It's like Michigan weather. If you don't like it, wait a little bit and it'll change. <laughs> um, some of my fondest memories here at the University of Michigan were my first two years uh, working here. Um, I started off at the med school, calling uh, prospective students to let them know that they've been admitted to the medical school. And the sheer excitement and exuberance in their voice upon hearing that they've been accepted is probably one of my fondest memories here. It's been wonderful uh, climbing the, the tower of, you know, starting from the bottom and working my way up as to be a chef has been absolutely wonderful. The advancement of technology from the time that I started at the university to where we are today. I worked with many of the student um, systems and the HR systems to go from paper to paperless. And I think that's been a, a, a great um, movement. 
Uh, I'd say one of the fondest memories was being able to work with my daughter um, when she was working here at the Lawyers Club. I think that we had a lot of fun and, and it made me feel really proud. Just being at the university for 30 years, um, I would just say I've been around the block a time or two, but you know, to meet my best friend, working on the same shift, same hours, and within that same department, ended up meeting the love of my life, which we've been married for 25 years. It's really never been a challenge, I guess, to be here. Um, there are things that I have stood up for and I have voiced my concern or opinion about, and I feel that, that my voice has been heard. So um, I think that's where I find the, the true passion of staying here where I work. I am third generation lifetime employee at the University of Michigan. My grandfather started working here in 1929 and a member of my family has worked here ever since. If you add together the years that my grandfather, my father, and my mother worked, you get 104. Add that to my 45 years of service and my family has provided 149 years of service to the University of Michigan. I'm currently the finance manager for the Department of Surgery and Emergency Medicine. Um, Michigan Medicine has been a great place to work and I'm so proud to be part of Michigan Medicine. It has been a wonderful tenure here for the last 30 plus years and I'm looking forward to a whole lot more. I don't know if I can say 30 more years, but I definitely am looking forward to more years at the University of Michigan. Uh, staying for 40 years was not really a conscious decision. It's not like I started in 1991 and said, oh, I'm going to work here until I retire. I just uh, ended up in some really good jobs with some really good people. I've had a lot of opportunities to learn new skills and I'm just still here. I've had some great supervisors along the way, Margaret Rodriguez in Downs Herald and currently Melanie Pizzullo. Um, and I've been able to see technology um, grow by leaps and bounds. Well, I stayed for 40 years at Michigan partially because I really hate resumes and partially because uh, it's, it's a good job. I've got great coworkers. I've got, I, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a lot of fun work, a lot of challenges, and I've very rarely thought, you know, I'd rather be doing something else. I, I usually am very happy to be at U of M. One of my fondest memories is meeting the different people in different departments, uh, different cultures, and just basically interacting with uh, the different um, folks at the university. It's been one of the things I've enjoyed the most is the variety of work that I've had. I also have a lot of wonderful co-workers who are very bright and catch on quickly, which makes working a joy. And then finally, I'm grateful for the retirement program. And I will be retiring at the end of April 2022, and I'm very glad to have worked here. So thank you, University of Michigan. My direct colleagues I work with daily are considered a second family to me. I want to thank the University of Michigan for such a wonderful career I have been given. I would highly recommend working at the University of Michigan to family, friends, and acquaintances. Uh, what advice would I give employees who are navigating their career at the University of Michigan? Um, there is a lot of opportunities at U of M either to cross train or network with other people. Um, take advantage of all of the the free trainings that are available. They might not pertain to what you're doing today, but they might spark an interest in you um, to take you into a different path. Uh, I always try and tell people to look for people who will make you better so you can make them better. I say hang in there, learn all that you can in one area and then move to another, which I did for my 30 years. I've moved around each time uh, learning the different aspects of how U of M runs. As I get close to retirement, my best advice 
for others is to appreciate and show gratitude to those that you have worked with. These interactions and relationships is with others is what I will miss the most. Wow, that was incredible. The, the, yes, it was. <clears throat> wow, I, I just want to say thank, thank you, everybody. We're so grateful for you to share your stories and hear uh, just wonderful, inspirational messages uh, as we consider, you know, your experience and your commitment to the university over the many, many years. Again, 30, 40, 45, 50, and 55 year individuals were celebrating today. So just incredible. Um, you know, I think it's important to uh, think about those that have shared their comments and uh, consider, you know, what the messages are and how we reflect on those and continue forward. As we talked about earlier, Happy Days was a popular movie. And how do we continue to move forward for the next generation uh, as we think about this great university? But we do have one more person to honor before we're complete today. Uh, 55 years of remarkable service to the university. Yes. Isn't it amazing? All the things that people said in the video talked about their relationship with people and their friends, how flexible you have to be, how they learned so much by moving from job to job or some who just stayed right where they were. Well, we have an amazing woman who's been here for 55 years. So please join me in thanking and congratulating Marty Moon, Facility Manager, Climate and Space Sciences and Engineer, College of Engineering. Marty began working for the University of Michigan in 1966. Let's take a moment to hear her story. So Marty Moon, please introduce yourself. Tell me how long you've been working for the university uh, and some of the different areas you may have worked at over your time. Well, you're gonna be surprised when you hear that I started September 12th, 1966. And I started in the Space Physics Research Lab in the building that I still work in after 55 years. So, Wow. Now it's just not one building anymore. We've added two buildings since I started. And I came in as a clerk and underfill. I uh, had to get a job within two weeks because my husband was drafted into the service and I was a homemaker at the time. So that's my start here at the University of Michigan. That's incredible, Marty. So over those 55 years, I'm sure you have a ton of memories to share. What are some of your fondest memories of being here at the university? You know, when, when I saw that question, I knew it was gonna be a tough one because in all that time, obviously, there are a lot of memories. But I would have to say that it's the relationships that I forged with people over these 55 years that's staff, faculty, students. I've seen students come in. I was 19 when I came. And so I saw students get their education, go out in the world and do great things. Some of them came back and became chairs, a chair of our department, um, went on to do great things. So um, what a privilege I've had. It's kind of an emotional time just talking about the history here because it's been a big part of my life. What are some of the positive changes you've seen in the university over those years as well? Oh my goodness, so many positive ones. I mean, the culture's obviously changed over the years. Um, again, as a teenager coming here and um, being a homemaker, um, just seeing so many different changes. I mean, the, the student capacity that we had back then was 20,000. And now I think we're up to something like 60,000 students. Um, so what a change in not just the culture, but the numbers of people. And of course, these last two years almost, well, going on two years with COVID, what 
what a change that has brought about, both positives and negative. It does. Thank you for sharing. So you have spent so many years of your career here. What, why have you decided to stay so long and what has really kept you here uh, for all those years? Well, I'm going to read this because it's kind of an emotional thing for me. And uh, I'd have to say because God who created me placed a call in my life to serve in whatever capacity I was capable of doing, to be an instrument of his peace, to show his love and kindness by serving all the people that he brought across my path. We live in a very dark world and even one person can shine light to make the world a better place in which to live by thinking and doing what we can for others and not just thinking of what we can get. I think Mother Teresa put it just right by saying, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put in the giving. And it's not how much we do, but how much love we put in the doing. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. Absolutely. So my last question is, for our newer employees and those that have not been here quite as long as you have, what advice would you give us um, about our careers and, and life at the university? I'm gonna read this one too. My advice to those navigating a career at the U of M would be to have a passion for whatever they do that fills their heart first and foremost and do it with honesty and integrity. Also use the gifts and knowledge that they have by sharing that knowledge with others. Lastly, be willing to adapt to the many changes that are certain to occur while being respectful, loving, and caring to all that come across their path. That's my two cents. Wow. 55 years, that's uh, just remarkable. Um, thank you, Marty. Thank you very much for the service and your inspiring words, um, just simply incredible. Uh, once again, though, we're, we're grateful for everyone joining us today and for each and every one of you that have celebrated a milestone in your career with us at the university. And it's just not us, but it's our whole campus community that has something they wanna say. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to help you celebrate this anniversary in your long and dedicated service to the university and to offer my thanks and my congratulations. Congratulations, you are the difference. Congratulations on your years of service. Thank you for all you do. Thanks for all that you've done for Michigan. You've definitely helped make Blue go. On behalf of the University of Michigan and Michigan Medicine, I sincerely thank you for your many years of service and congratulate you on this service award. Thank you for making the Michigan difference. You're awesome. You, you are. rock! Thank you for your service and your commitment. Congratulations to each of you. Your work has been critical to the success of our students and our faculty and the university's ability to contribute to society, helping to make people's lives better. So we appreciate your dedication and all that you do in so many ways. Thank you. You have been an integral part of what makes Michigan great. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you, we appreciate you. Thanks for all you do. Congratulations on your career. Hey, thanks for all that you do. Hi, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you uh, and congratulate you on your length of service here at the University of Michigan. Let's go blue. You are truly authentic and sincere in everything that you do. You're helpful 
to our students, their families, faculty, and your colleagues. It's because of you that this is such a special place. Congratulations. Thank you for all your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your amazing service to the University of Michigan. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you to all of you who have contributed to making this such a fabulous place. My hearty congratulations to all of you and thank you for your service. What you do for the University of Michigan and for the University of Michigan Flint in particular is very much appreciated. Your service helps faculty and staff and ultimately leads to the success of the institution. Thank you, thank you. Making Michigan great takes a team effort. I hope you're proud of your contribution to our success. Thank you for everything you have done to make Michigan great. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and dedication for the university it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for your years of service. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your service. It's truly individuals like yourself that have deep and long-standing knowledge of this great organization that truly make Michigan a great place. You have helped shape who the University of Michigan is and will help guide the future generations of our workforce. Thank you for all that you do. Go Blue! Thank you. Don't know buzz. Thank you. Salamat and thank you so much for all of your years of service. Muchas gracias por tu gran esfuerzo y trabajo durante todos estos años. From Voices of the Staff. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations on your award. Thanks for your hard work. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do to make the University of Michigan a great place to work. Thank you for your years of service. We appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your work and for your commitment. Thank you. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue. Well, we're getting to the end of our time and thank you again, everyone uh, from our Ann Arbor, Dearborn and Flint campuses. This couldn't have been possible without all of you and your commitment and dedication to the university. This presentation will be available uh, for each of you to share if, if you'd like with to share with family or friends or just would like to watch it uh, yourselves. Uh, so please uh, be looking for the link that we'll be sending out so you have an opportunity to share this video. And to everyone at Michigan Medicine, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You all are leaders in best, and after so many years, you continue to make Blue go. Yeah, the, it, it is. It's a great team that makes Blue go. I want to give a, a special thanks to our planning team today that made this event possible. And yes. of course, I want to thank all of you again for being here today and, and celebrating your milestones uh, with the university. We couldn't achieve our missions at the university without you. It's people serving people at this great university that make Blue go. Uh, so again, thank you for your contributions. I hope everybody has a great evening. Go Blue. Go Blue. Congratulations. Congratulations.